Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Nichols. I'm part of the Department of Neurology, Division of Pediatric Epilepsy at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. Today, I'd like to talk to you about when to stop seizure medicines in children with epilepsy. Children with epilepsy who are able to be seizure-free for a prolonged period of time, usually two years, often are given the opportunity to come off of their anti-seizure medications. This can be a very exciting time for parents and children but can also cause some anxiety. Parents are often worried about what could potentially happen if seizure medicines are stopped. Now it's important to understand that you should never stop seizure medicines in children without the guidance of their doctor. The biggest risks that happen when stopping seizure medicines are that seizures could come back. Most often this happens within the first few years and then seizures are usually able to come under control with restarting the medications. Once in a while, parents can also be very frightened that if the seizures happen, they may not be able to come under control with medications. Research that we have done here at Mayo Clinic shows that the risk of having seizures that are difficult to control in the setting of medication withdrawal is no greater than the risk of seizures coming back even if you had continued medications. Unfortunately, seizures can sometimes come back in children who are seizure-free whether or not medications are withdrawn. If that happens, we should not be concerned that it was because of discontinuing the medications, but rather that it was simply what was going to happen with your child's epilepsy. The typical process for discontinuing medications is that you would meet with your doctor and they may want to perform some tests to see if your child has a higher or lower risk of seizures coming back when medications are stopped. The most common test that's performed is an EEG. After the EEG, your doctor will then discuss with you the risks and benefits of stopping medications and will then give you a schedule for slowly tapering off of the medication. If at any time seizures recur, you would call your doctor back, and most of the time medications would then be restarted. Just because a child has had seizures recur with one trial of weaning medications does not necessarily mean that they can't then have another trial once they are again seizure-free for several more years. And so, if your child has been able to be seizure-free for the last several years, congratulations! This is a very exciting feat for your child. I would recommend discussing with your doctor whether or not to discontinue medications, and based on that discussion, you may or may not decide to go ahead and wean them. I hope this has been very helpful to you. Thanks.